Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News, the show that may or may not be five minutes. Today in the news, the Hydra known as NFTs rears its ugly heads again. Just when I thought we had finally moved past NFTs trying to cram their scammy little fingers into the games we love, it turns out once you cut one head off, they just grow back more. First, in an article over on Game Rant, we learned that Nike, yes, the shoe company that makes those damn Air Force Ones that I really want but can never get because they sell out in the first two seconds on that crappy app that never works right, have filed a patent for a new system that integrates NFTs into video games. I don't know why they're doing that kind of thing, but basically it's incorporating branding into the games we love. Like, so you can give your character a pair of Jordans. While there isn't anything too concrete right now, it's not hard to see what this could be for. Things like easy marketing in FIFA or Madden or any game, really. Sonic got shoes, I'm sure we could stick a logo on that. And yeah, it goes without saying, it will suck. And despite NFT sales plummeting and crypto tanking, big companies are still convinced this is the future. And I think I've explained this before in previous videos, but I'll just say it again. It's because they have no clue what any of it means. Most of the people at the top of big companies don't have a damn clue what NFTs actually are or what crypto actually is or what Web3 or a blockchain even means. They just see money and they're told by crypto bros that it's going to make them bank. And they're like, well, we'd be fools not to be involved. So yeah, like I said, it sucks. Speaking of it sucks and big companies convincing themselves NFTs are the future, let me introduce you to the Polium One. Polium One? Look, who cares? It's literally a Web3 NFT crypto version of the Ouya. The Ouya? You remember that console? No? Let me regale you. The Ouya was a console that was supposed to be for indies, by indies, and, and made a ton of money in its initial funding. But when people realized that consoles are not actually fun, they're just the delivery platform for fun, and this one had nothing to deliver, no one bought it. Just to give you an example, its best-selling game was Towerfall with 7,000 copies. So take that methodology and then just add crypto and NFTs. And now, my friends, you've got the Polyam One, the world's first multi-chain gaming console. And it's definitely NFT-related since they're already swiping art assets. Look at that logo! That is basically the GameCube logo. Oh, and did I mention the controller has a button that allows you to access your wallet? That's right, screw gameplay, it's time to buy shit. So get in while you can. If you pre-order now, you get one of 10,000 Poleum passes. That's right, some sort of NFT that I'm sure will be worth something, right? Right? At the end of the day, this is all you really need to know. There are four people working on it and they promise 8K HDR and 120 FPS. Either this is a joke or NFT and crypto bros really are the most gullible people on the planet. Anyway, it is the start of a new week, so that means it's time for new releases. First up and out right now is the throwback to consoles and games of old with Last Call BBS. A send-off from Zaktronics and a collection that teaches you that programming and coding can be fun. If it isn't the soothing hard drive sounds of yesteryear, it'll be the time you spend painting your fake digital Gundam and ignoring the real one on your desk. Also out today, but coming to PC on the 8th, if you're up for something totally weird, you're a kill the Columnation Games. <laughs> what a title. An anime as hell, theme park from hell, where guests are wacky killers from hell. You solve escape room-esque puzzles to live, while also it's kind of dating simmy, but not a dating sim. Wait, is that a top-down shooter? What is this game? And then on the 8th, if you're ready to get scared, finally, we have the release of Madison, the first-person psychological horror game inspired by so many other horror games. Solve puzzles, take pictures, explore the creepy-ass house, and try not to get jump-scared. Ooh, but you're gonna get jump scared. So that's it for the show. Thank you so much. If you want to check out the other stuff I do, go over to youtube.com slash coxclips. Please, if you like this, subscribe, comment below, hit the like button or that bell so you get notified. That would be helpful. And uh, I will see you tomorrow with another episode of 5 Minute Gaming News.